The Ten Amazing Royal Ottoman Palaces. Topkapi Palace. Sultan Mehmed II built Topkapi Palace on what used to be the Acropolis during the Byzantine period, six years after conquering Istanbul and then Constantinople. That would make Topkapi Palace the first palace of all the Ottoman palaces in Istanbul. This palace is noted for having a different architectural style from the prominent Western and Eastern styles of that time. Topkapi Palace has four main courtyards with different functions. The second courtyard, for example, was the administrative headquarters. And the fourth contains several beautiful pavilions and gazebos. To get a real feel for the palace, you may want to pay a bit more for a guided tour. Topkapi Palace served as the main royal residence of the Ottoman sultans until the 17th century. After that, the sultans resided in other palaces along the Bosphorus Strait. At that time, Topkapi still had some administrative functions. In 1924, after the founding of the Turkish Republic, the palace became a museum. In 1985, this place became part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. Dolmabahce Palace. The Armenian Balyan family built the Dolmabahce Palace by order of Sultan Abdulmesid. The Sultan decided to build this palace because he thought Topkapi was old and deteriorating. In addition, he wanted the Ottoman Empire to possess a palace that would rival the many luxurious castles and palaces in Europe. Dolmabahce Palace was used in two different periods. 1856 to 1887 and 1902 to 1922. That would make this one of the last residences of the Ottoman sultans. Interestingly, the last sultan who lived here was also called Abdulmesid. During the Republican period, this palace was converted into the presidential house. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk used the palace as a summer home and wrote some of his essential works here. He also passed away here in 1938. What is impressive about this palace is not only the crystal chandeliers that weigh several tons, but the fact that Dolmabahce Palace has witnessed the last part of the Ottoman era and the first part of the modern era. While the main presidential palace is located in the capital, Ankara, there is also a presidential office located in Dolmabahce Palace, where the president of Turkey works and receives visitors. Baylor Bey Palace. Baylor Bey means Lord of Lords, and the name fits considering that Baylor Bey Palace is undoubtedly one of Istanbul's many beautiful palaces. Although construction began during the reign of Sultan Mahmud, it was Sultan Abdulaziz who brought Baylor Bey Palace to its current glory. He demolished the original building and rebuilt it after a fire. During the Ottoman period, Baylor Bey Palace was used as a state guesthouse hosting the likes of Austrian Emperor Franz Joseph, German Emperor Wilhelm II, and Prince Nicholas of Montenegro. There is a reason Turkish President Ataturk loved to entertain guests at Baylor Bey Palace even during the early period of modern Turkey. From the magnificent gardens to the detailed ornate ceilings. Any architecture lover should not miss visiting the splendid summer residence as a relic of the empire. Yildiz Palace. The name translates to Star Palace, and it's fitting. Yildiz Palace is another one of those palaces in Istanbul that UNESCO recognizes. It's on the tentative list of how European architecture blends seamlessly with Ottoman Empire architecture. That may be because one of the main architects working on the pavilions was the Italian architect Raimondo Daranco. Abdul Hamid used this building during the years 1876 to 1909. In those years, the Sultan enlarged the pavilions to create a small city with an opera house, a carpentry workshop and even an imperial porcelain factory. Siragin Palace. It was built at the time when each Sultan wanted his own place instead of living in his parents' house, which is understandable today. 
Sultan Abdulaziz built this palace and then died a few years later. What he couldn't enjoy, however, you can. If you want to feel like one of the many Ottoman sultans, you don't need to travel back in time to the Ottoman period. Because Sirigin Palace may be the only one of the beautiful palaces in Istanbul where you can stay. The Sultan Suite is ranked 14th in CNN's, world's 15 most expensive hotel suites. Making it the most luxurious accommodation. It's close to tourist spots like the many palaces on this list. You can easily take a ferry trip to the Asian side to see the impressive Baylor Bay Palace. Alternatively, you can walk or take a taxi to see the crystal chandeliers at Dolmabache Palace or see the stunning gardens at Yildiz Palace. However, the historic Topkapi Palace that served most of the sultans of the Ottoman Empire is quite far from this hotel.